running Kali Linux using VNC Viewer is very okay and you know it works perfectly fine. But then, in my own experience, I find the Tamox X11 more faster than VNC Viewer. So that is why I'm making this video for people who actually want to, you know, use their Kali Linux operating system with Tamox X11 rather than using it with VNC Viewer. I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video. Without wasting much of your time, let's get to it. So first, you update Tamox repositories. You do that with the apt update command. And after updating Tamox repositories, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install Piru distro, okay? You do that with the command pkg install Piru distro. Now that you have installed Piru distro, we're going to proceed to the installation of Kali Linux. Okay? To do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit an installation script. Now you're going to be using the command chain on your screen right now to edit that installation script, all right? Now, after entering that command, um, a page like this is going to open. You're going to be pasting this installation script on that page. I'll leave a link in the description below for this installation script. Now, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to proceed to the installation of Kali Linux. Do that with the command pd install klinux. Okay? And that is going to install Kali Linux. Now, once Kali Linux has been installed, you're going to log into Kali with the command pd login klinux. Right? Now you're going to update Kali with the apt update command and after that we proceed to the installation of the XFCE GUI. Alright, do that with the command apt install XFCE4 and we're also going to be installing DBoss. Alright, so you're going to install DBoss with the command DBoss launch and then you're also going to install Firefox browser, okay, which is Firefox ESR. And you can do that by simply entering the command chain on your screen right now and that is going to, you know, do the installation for you. Next, you're going to create a new session to Tamox and we're going to be installing X11 repo which is going to aid in the usage of the Tamox S11 application, okay? So, first you update Tamox packages, do that with the pkg update command and after updating Tamox packages, you're going to install X11 repo, okay? You're going to do that with the command chain on your screen right now. Once the package has been installed, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Tamox S11 nightly. Do that with the command chain on the screen right now also, alright? Now once the package has been installed, we're going to proceed to the installation of the Tamox S11 application. So you're going to head to GitHub. I'm also going to be leaving this um, link in the description below. You're going to download the universal application, alright? The universal APK because this universal APK supports both 32 and 64 bit Android phone. And you're going to install it just like you install every other application, okay? Now, after installing the application, you're going to head to Tamox and we're going to give Tamox the permission to be accessed by external applications, okay? You're going to do that with the command shown on your screen right now, alright? Now, after entry that command, you're going to scroll down or you're going to locate this. So, you're going to uncomment this allow external apps, okay? And you're going to save the script by clicking Ctrl X on your keyboard, alright? And then you're going to click on Y to save the script. Now that that has been done, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start the Tamox X11. Okay? To do that, you're going to use the command Tamox X11 colon 1 and, okay? This is going to launch Tamox X11 on the localhost one and make it available to be accessed on external applications all right now you're going to head back to kali linux and you're going to exit kali linux and log into kali again using the tmp directory because x11 uses the tmp directory for running graphical linux applications on android devices so when logging in again you're just going to specify that you're going to be logging in with the tmp directory okay now that we are logged in again it is time to connect the gui with the x11 server okay do that with the command export and then you're going to specify the server that you know you logged in with on x11 in our case it is the server one so you're going to specify the colon one and after that you're going to connect to the server with dboss and your preferred gui interface in our case it is the xfce gui interface okay so you're going to type the command chain in your screen right now and that is going to connect you so all you just have to do is locate the tamox x11 application on your android phone welcome to Kali Linux so this is how you do it okay so when you're done working with your GUI interface okay um, and you want to kill your x11 server you're going to come back and copy the process number of your server okay
and then you can kill the server with the command showing on your screen right now which is kill 9 okay kill i found 9 then the process number of that server you're going to paste that and you're going to click on enter thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye